U.S. Army SGT, First Class Eric Feltz, Mortuary Affairs Specialist Assigned to the Defense POW, MIA Accounting Agency, Secures a U.S. Flag onto a transfer case aboard an Air Force plane en route to Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam, Hawaii, from Osan Air Base in Korea on Wednesday. The cases contain possible remains of service members lost during the Korean War. Photo by SGT, First Class David J. Marshall, U.S. Army, License Photo New U.S. Ambassador to Seoul Harry Harris spoke to local reporters for the first time on Thursday. File photo by Lucas Coach, EPAFA August 2nd, UPI, New U.S. Ambassador to Seoul Harry Harris said there must be demonstrable moves from North Korea toward denuclearization before any declaration of the end of the 1950-53 Korean War is made between the two sides. Harris, who held a news conference for local media on Thursday at the U.S., Ambassador's residence is making his views known only a few weeks after arriving in South Korea. One of the things that hasn't happened is the demonstrable moves toward denuclearization before we can entertain something like the end of war declaration, Harris said, according to Jan Hap. I think for the denuclearization to happen, we need to see the move and I haven't seen that yet, Ed Ailey reported the top U.S. Envoy to Seoul said that hasty measures are not the answer. If the United States and its allies move too quickly and make irreversible moves, then fail, such results will only benefit Kim Jong-un, Harris said. But Harris also said a declaration to the end of war is within the realm of possibility. Related North Korea calls for powerful struggle against heat wave the U.S. Ambassador also expressed skepticism regarding North Korea's dismantling of the Pungiri nuclear test site and the missile site at tongchang ri whether the images are proof of dismantlement requires investigation, Harris said, according to Ed Ailey. The ambassador added a good starting point would be a North Korea list of nuclear facilities. U.S. President Donald Trump has continued to tout progress on North Korea. Thank you to Chairman Kim Jong-un for keeping your word. Also, thank you for your nice letter. I'll look forward to seeing you soon, the president tweeted late Wednesday.